Hey everyone, I just want to let you know that I started a second channel called Melanie's World. So please go and check it out and subscribe to that channel if you like to see more videos from me. I'll still be doing my nail videos on this channel, but everything else will be going on to the other channel from now on. Anyway, so I don't know what took me so long to try out water marbling. Actually, I think it's because the last time I tried it, it didn't work out so well. So I ended up doing a few of the non-water water, water marbling designs last year. But recently, I stumbled onto this water marble shout out video by a channel called Dear Natural 62. She mentioned so many helpful tips in the video that I decided to give it another try. So I'll link her video down below so you guys can go check her out. I was really really determined this time to make it work and somehow it all just came together. So here is the tutorial. So as always, start with base coat to protect your nails, then a layer or two of a white nail polish. I'm using this glass candle holder with a 5cm diameter opening. It's not too big so hopefully I won't have to use too much nail polish to fill it. You can also use any round shaped containers or cups, whatever you can find around the house. Then I filled it with tap water and let it sit for about 30 minutes or so until it becomes room temperature. You don't want the water to be too cold because it dries up the nail polish quicker. So I've got my two colors ready. It's just a simple two color design. Have them open so you can access them quickly. Starting with the black polish. Add one drop and wait for that to spread. Then continue with a drop of the white polish and repeat steps until you get a few rings of each color. I recommend not dripping it from too high otherwise it will sink to the bottom of the cup. I hear other people say to use filtered water, I just use the tap because the water here in Australia is pretty clean and it definitely works for me. Something to note about the type of nail polish to use, I did a couple of polish tests to make sure the colors spread properly. Some nail polishes don't work very well, either it doesn't spread or it doesn't allow other polishes to spread on top of them. So test it out and see which ones work for you. So once you have this bullseye ring in front of you, looks kind of hypnotizing doesn't it? Grab a stick with a pointy end, I'm using an orange stick here and start anchoring the outer rings like this. You do this so that when you drag the designs later on, it doesn't move around. I think missing this step was why my last water marble attempt failed so miserably. Now that we have our spider web set up, we can start dragging the rings together. There are lots of ways to create designs with water marble. This is probably the easiest way. So if you want to see me do more water marble designs, let me know in the comments and any suggestions for color combinations that you may have. So now that I have created a few petal shapes, I'm just going to turn the glass around to a position that's easiest for me to dip my finger in. Then aim where you want your design to be and lower your fingernails into the water. Hold your finger in the water and scoop away the remaining polishes from the water surface. Once the coast is clear, you can take your finger out and there you go. Looks like a bit of a mess, but you can easily clean that up with some nail polish remover. You can always tape around the fingers to prevent them from getting on your skin too much. Okay, now that I have shown you the basics, let's try another one and I'll show you how to do them two at a time to save you some nail polish. So before you start dripping again, make sure the water surface is clean of any polish residues. Now once you have everything set up, 
Use your orange stick and drag three lines across the rings to create four big petal shapes like this. Then drag two more lines in between the first two petals to make them into smaller ones. You can dip the orange stick to combine the petals to make a point. Now that we have done the first design, do the same on the other side to create the second one. Once you've got your two designs ready, dip one of your fingers in the first design, then make sure the surrounding nail polish is broken off. Slowly take that finger out without disturbing the rest of the design. Next, dip your other finger in the second design, hold it there and scoop away the remaining polish and take your finger out. See? Killing two birds with one stone or something like that. After you clean off the surrounding nail polish from your fingers, this is how it looks like. But knowing me, I like to go the extra step. So I added some dots in to make the marble even more interesting to look at. Add some black dots in the white area and white dots in the black area. Then once you're done, add top curve for a lasting finish. If you like this design, please like and favorite this video. Let me know if you have any suggestions on color combinations for my next water marble video. If this is your first time hanging out with me, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Thursday. My videos are now on Pinterest, so feel free to repin them on your own boards for easy access. And check out my second channel if you're interested.